Welcome, Aquarius. How are y'all? I'm glad to be back with you guys today. All right, so let me clear the energy really quick. I just did Virgo's reading. I don't know. I just felt, oof. I feel a little, a little bit more calmer. <laughs> um, but my last two readings, guys, I don't know. Like I was just compelled to, to just speak my mind. Um, I'm a little more relaxed. Maybe you guys are feeling a little more relaxed. Okay, maybe you guys are feeling chill, cool, calm, and collected. Let's see, and let's ask the pendulum. <laughs> All right, so is this reading that I'm doing for Aquarius, is it going, is the energy going to be calming? Okay, I'm getting a no. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's get an overall. Give me an overall message. Guys, these messages are general. So they aren't going to resonate with every single Aquarius. Okay, they'll resonate with a few. And if it resonates, then good for you. Okay, some of you guys are going to be are dropping something, dropping a situation, dropping a person. I've just seen the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Okay, some of you guys are over a situation. Okay. Oh, some of y'all are done talking. <laughs> some of y'all stopped talking. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. What's going on? Give me an overall message for Aquarius, please. And if this message does not resonate with y'all, don't get in my comment section talking stupid. Oh, this doesn't resonate with well, well, guess what? Click the hell off and click on somebody else's reading. It'll take me 2.5 seconds to know if the reading is for me. It'll immediately, I'll immediately know, like, after a, at least a minute of watching if this reading resonates with me or not. Okay? You don't have to sit there and then, then have the audacity to go in the comment section and say it doesn't resonate with you. I just feel like you got too much time on your hands. But, I mean, whatever. I mean, thanks for the view, but don't come for me. I'm just really not in, <laughs> I'm not really in a friendly mood today. I don't know. I'm just, that's where I'm at. All right, so Aquarius, please give me an overall message for Aquarius. I feel like some of y'all are waiting on something. We got the King of Cups. Some of y'all are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you're holding back your feelings, okay? You're holding back. You don't, you aren't expressing your feelings, okay? I feel like you tried to make something work and it did not. Someone did not want to be cooperative. And right now, you're kind of like, you, like you're shut off. You shut your emotions off or you shut... I just feel like you shut down, okay? Something... Someone did not want to be cooperative and make something work. So, you shut down is what I'm getting. And that's why I got the Ten of Wands and the... Ten of Wands in the reverse and the Eight of Wands because someone has stopped communicating. I feel like a lot of you guys are just shut your emotions off or you have just like have you really don't want to express how you feel all right so give me a message for Aquarius what's going on with Aquarius I'm doing this message in March but this message can be whenever whenever you view it. That's when it's meant for you to see it. All right, so please give me a message for Aquarius, okay? 
Okay, we got the moon in the reverse. Ooh. The eight of pentacles in the reverse and the five of cups in the reverse. We got the ten of swords, the six of pentacles, and the wheel of fortune. All right, so... There could have been some type of ending, um, some type of secret, okay, or there's been some type of betrayal. I want to see why the moon is here in the reverse, because I'm sensing that there is also like a sense of regrets. Maybe you feel like some trap, someone is trying to make you feel regretful. You may stop giving. You may stop being so giving to this person. Um, because you may feel like this person is trying to make you feel regretful. And that's what I'm getting. Why is the moon card here? Hierophant. Okay. Some of you are dealing with Taurus. Someone's pregnant here or just gave birth or you're waiting for someone to give birth. We got the hangman, the empress, and the sun. The empress and the sun is most definitely like a pregnancy. Someone is waiting anxiously, like somebody is anxiously waiting for the right moment to take action. Um, someone could be pregnant here. Most definitely. Maybe this was a secret. Maybe this is something that you tried to keep a secret. Mine's a ten of swords here. The six of cups in the reverse. You was planning on talking about this, but I feel like some of you are just like planning it out in your head, <laughs> like premeditated on how you're going to handle the situation. I'm getting like an abrupt, a, an abrupt ending here. Why is the six of cups and the ten of swords here? And it's like not going back. Okay, why is the six of cups and the ten of swords here? Yeah, it's too much. Something is too much of a burden here. But I still feel like there may be some unfinished business, but you just slammed that door shut. Okay, you slammed the door shut and you feel like the situation was too burden burdensome. You got two tens here. Okay, so you're absolutely overwhelmed and done. Like you want to drop the situation. This is something that has to do with something in your past. Okay. You're overwhelmed by it. You are ready to drop it. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? And the Eight of Cups. Okay. In the reverse. Maybe you tried to walk away from the situation, but someone keeps coming back, bringing you news. Bringing you gossip. Somebody key. Okay, so you you tried to close the chapter out. You tried to leave, but someone keeps coming back, bringing you gossip, bringing you drama, and so you're listening to it too because we got the nine of wands and the pay the swords. Okay, so you're listening to this gossip. Someone's coming back. Someone's very immature here. All I see is very immature energy here. Knight of wands, definitely young, playful energy. Page of swords. Definitely young, childlike energy. Nine of Wands, this is someone actually listening to this energy, listening to someone bring them this news, okay? Maybe you tried to, like, walk away or leave the situation alone. Somebody keeps bringing you, bringing this to you. And you got your guard up, too. Like, you listen to it. You, you hear it. You hear what's being said. Why is the Six of Pentacles here?
Four of Cups. I feel like your emotions are all over the place with this situation. You could be dealing with a Virgo. A Virgo could be coming to you. Um, maybe someone is afraid to say something here. Or someone is afraid to apologize. Queen of Pentacles, Strength card. You could be dealing with a Earth sign or a um, Leo. Okay, but why is the Four of Cups here in the reverse? Oh, someone's asking. So I feel like you don't want to give someone um, some money here. Is someone pissed because you're not giving them no money? Or you something to hear about money or family? But I'm feeling more so that it's about money because we got the Six of Pentacles, which is about giving, helping, lending a hand. That Four of Cups is saying that you don't want to. Okay, but maybe you've been helping this person out, okay, and maybe they stabbed you in the back, betrayed you in some way, shape, or form. We got the Emperor, which is the father card of the tarot, um, Aries is energy, two of swords, two of swords, you're not sure, or you're certain about a situation. This could be dealing with someone older, this could be dealing with a a father figure this could be dealing with someone that is very stubborn and set in their ways okay someone isn't showing any uh emotions towards um the situation like so i just feel like you guys are just being like cutthroat and cutting someone off and you aren't being you aren't helping this person anymore you're done trying why is the five of cups in the reverse here mm-hmm Somebody is regretting something that they said. Okay, they are Eight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. This could have something to do with children or child. Someone's very childish, or someone that is very childlike or very young. Um, I feel like they're rushing towards you with this information. Okay, and coming towards you, telling you stuff. Okay, and why is the Wheel of Fortune here? But it looks like things are going to work out more so in your favor. Okay, so we got, you're going to be possibly making some temporary changes. Okay, so you're going to be, I feel like you could be dealing with the fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But there's also like some temporary changes that need to be made. I'm getting that there's a sense of somebody being very malicious. Somebody being very spiteful. Okay, somebody who, all I see over this reading is definitely get back, pay back. I'm going to get you sucker type energy. Like somebody is very spiteful. Somebody is very manipulative. Someone is very sneaky. And it's all in the sake of you did me wrong. There's this, this situation is unjust. And you're going to get what you deserve. Okay. I'm definitely getting it out. Something did not work. Some of you guys are dealing with the court system. Okay. With this justice card here. But maybe you feel like the situation is imbalanced, okay? Someone definitely could not make the situation work. Someone's being very, very uncooperative, not wanting to cooperate, okay? And this has caused some type of conflict. You may feel like someone is lying, not being truthful, not telling the truth. And you feel like, this shit, it's not fair. How did that work out like that? That's not fair, Okay. But I feel like you're going to be making some temporary changes. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, your intuition is telling you to make some little small tweak, tweak things up a little bit and make some changes, okay? So, I feel like you are ahead of the game, okay? Intuitively, you may feel like you got to switch things up a little bit to kind of throw this other person off. Okay, let's see what messages we have for the angels. I feel like you're done talking at this point. It's all about action and being, you know, moving in a strategic way. What message is there for Aquarius, please? Um, we got in the near future, okay? The situation is going to improve, okay? I feel like there, once you make these changes, I feel like there's some changes that you're going to be making. There's some temporary changes 
that is going to work more so in your favor. If you do make these tweak this, make some little tweaks in your in your blueprint. Okay, I feel like there is getting ready to be abundance. Abundance does not always have to come in the form of money, but you guys have some type of abundance getting ready to come to you. And there is going to be some type of peaceful resolution, okay? This is all coming up in the near future. We got there's something better, okay? You're ready for something better, okay? We got you're ready. Okay, you're ready for something better. You've done all you can in this situation. I feel like you've dropped this situation and you're just trying to do your best to get away, get out of it. Okay, and we have listened to your intuition. That's what I was just telling you. Okay, your intuition is telling you to let this situation go, right? <clears throat> this situation is telling you to let this to let go. And I feel like that's what you should do. Listen to your intuition. If your intuition is telling you to drop this person or drop this situation, then move accordingly. Set you out a plan, make your blueprint, and move accordingly. All right? But this situation is going to definitely improve in the near future, okay? Just make sure that you guys are listening to your intuition and move it accordingly, all right? So I hope this message was helpful for you. If you guys want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information is down below in the drop box, okay? And until next time, I will chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.